Hello, hello, hello. I'm Alakar Night Raven. Welcome to my channel and welcome to my next review. Today I'm looking at the Transformers Generations Comic Edition Straxis. And this is a really, really good remold of the Galvatron mold from uh, the End of Kingdom, beginning of Legacy. Um, and they did a great job. Like, he's got that look. Like from the comics, um, not perfect, but the close closest we've gotten in a figure. So, but as always, we'll take a look at the packaging. I'm gonna move Straxus off to the side, and it, it is just like with the other two. The image of the comic, where him and Blaster fought Decepticon Straxis very cool 40 years well we'll leave that till last on this side some more comic panels still very very nice really really liking that on the top another comic panel on the bottom our barcode and stuff on the back are product shots with some more comic panels. And there he looks good in both modes. Just really nice. And a warning. And then, just like with the others, open it up. You see it, it's just all open. <laughs> and here we've got a little bio that you can read in different languages. So you can pause if you wish to read that. Then another panel of the comic. And kind of showed off our image here, but we can combine them together of the three we have so far. Let's get that far enough back to be able to see it in full image. And man, that just looks so cool really love how they're doing that just wow absolutely love it so let's get those out of the way <laughs> and then we'll bring straxus back in all right and here we have Straxus. And yeah, so he is remolded from the Galvatron mold, which is still a really good mold. And man, he's got that sort of... It's, I don't know if it's supposed to be like some kind of a ship, but it's got that feeling of it. And what's really cool is they designed this in the comics for him before we saw... Galvatron so I wonder if like maybe they had that thought in the beginning who knows who really knows but still really cool and we'll get the comparison done I do have my Galvatron here and it does have um, upgrade kits on it so it is going to look a little different well, a little more different, but yeah, you can see just how much has changed between the two. Like, wow. It's incredible just how much of a difference it can make. And yeah, I've got the DNA design upgrade kit, so he's, he does have the extensions for the legs but still not bad at all really do like that so but yeah just all that blue again just like with the other two got the uh, little comic book page dots and the lines looks really cool 
all this gray with the blue and the red just everywhere and then again some more of those comic book lines can't I, I i can't get over gushing over this like i'm so happy to have gotten a straxis that just looks more the part than we've seen before i think we've only seen one figure of straxis and he was called dark mount which was the name of the fortress or the city like i think it was the fortress that he uh, rule over or something like that I, I only know so much about the character i just know that he looks great so but yeah yeah not really much to him just like with galvatron you know there's only so much of showing it off i mean he's he's a flying cannon <laughs> really <laughs> that's it's the only thing I can think of is he's a flying cannon. That's what he looks like. Even in the comic. <laughs> Still. Got all this black. Got some more red there. And you can, you know, if you know how this transforms and you know what's going to be the chest. You know what's going to be the legs and the arms and the feet. So pretty much transforms the same as Galvatron does. So let's get down to transformation so raise them up first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove this piece which oh it's in there pretty darn good and we'll fold these down and this has his x so very cool on that and then pull this out and show off that a little later and now we'll start taking them apart. So, untab this. We're going to untab these from in here on both sides. Oh, and you want to untab these pieces as well. There we go. We we'll bring these up and out of the way for now. Fold this in. Then rotate that all in. We'll separate the legs. Well, should have just pulled them down first because the, there's actually tabs here that will go in the bottom here. So <laughs> then we can sort of move this up, leave it like that for now. Now we we'll can bring this up and want to rotate this up. Bring these down and with all that like that we'll bring this all around like this and we want there's a tab right here that tabs in right there we want that like that then we can close this piece up make sure we still got all this out of the way Rotate the feet, kind of finish those off, but we want to also untab this, bring it around, tab it into the back there. This will tab right there. Rotate his heels out. Now we can bring these up. And they're going to tab into the side there for he that part. And then bring it up. And bring this, or bring this all down until it tabs together. We want to rotate this up. And it's got sort of a stopping point in there. So again, tab all that together. Bring this up. Now this we're going to bring down just like this. Bring it down on that dual hinge. Plug it into the back. We're almost to the end here. So now we want to untab this piece from here. Bring it up. And this little notch will sit right there. Untab the arms. 
rotate the hand out. Same thing on this side. Bring that all around. Untab. Rotate the hand out. Bring the arm down. And there we go. And there we have Straxus in his robot mode. And he looks good. Like, this is definitely a good mold to have used for Straxus, in my opinion. And, yeah, he looks really good. So let's take a good look at that head, which is a very Straxus head. All that blue and black. I don't know if there's color for the eyes. Let's see. Nope, black eyes. But Septicon symbol on the top of his head. Kind of hard to see. Of course, keeping everything plugged in where it should be. Yeah, so all this whitish gray, got the black comic book lines all over, including on the fists, on the shoulders, kind of hard, a little hard to see. The red triangles, the red on the center of the chest, again, the black comic book lines, still very cool. Oh, sorry. <laughs> People calling me at the wrong time. A little bit of a backpack, but it's not bad. I mean, not bad at all. So, yeah, very cool. Uh, articulation, head is on a ball joint can rotate and mine is very tight like it's got that little spot moves up and down a bit no little bit of wiggle arms come up that far can rotate all the way around got bicep swivel Double jointed elbow due to transformation, so that's nice. So full rotation there. We've got wrist rotation. We've got waist. Lift this flap up. We can kick the leg forward that far. Kick it back that far. And let's get this sort of out of the way. Move this up. And over the full Van Dam. Got thigh rotation. Just under 90 for the knee, which is unfortunate. And the foot, we've only got that much ankle pivot. So, yeah. Not not too bad. In a couple of spots, is a little limited on rotation, but it's quite all right. And then you've got options with his weapon. So... This, you can kind of store it on there if you want. You can also put it in his hand to hold it. But we know this wasn't really a weapon for him in the comics. It, was, it just disappeared. So what they did was you can plug the post into that port on the back and hide it away. He did have this. So we can give him his axe, which looks really good. Absolutely love that. So, same axe he used, fighting blaster. <laughs> All right, and for comparison, we'll bring Galvatron back in. We can see what's changed. So move him over a little bit. Remember, I do have the upgrade kit. Whoops, I forgot to bring out his heels. He was going to fall over. <laughs> he was not going to stand very well. Oops. So 
like I said, I've got upgrade kits on him, so he is going to look a little taller and a little different. But there you can see the differences. So yeah, the new crotch plates, whole new chest, the lower arms completely different, new head. Um, what makes up, I guess you could say their treads, completely different, and whole new back piece here so yeah like quite a bit more change than I thought there would be so still looks really really good I absolutely love that all right so let's get him out of the way again Sorry, this chain likes to go everywhere. All right. But, yeah. So, that's Straxxus. Um, definitely recommend him if you don't have... Like, I definitely recommend these comic editions, honestly. They they look great. You know, they're all good molds. Um, a few other things could be done that would improve, but I can't think of much else that would honestly need to be improved. Um, but still, very cool. And I love the fact that you can just store this cannon away for his vehicle mode or alternate mode and not even worry about it, you know, floating around somewhere and have him look almost like he stepped right out of the comic book. I mean, yeah, it would have been nice, like, some more would have been done, like, with the, the legs, you know, but still, it's it's a really good representation of Straxus. I like it. I like it. Uh, just like with the other comic editions, this is only available on Hasbro Pulse. That's where I got mine. They do still have it available from the last time I checked, so I recommend getting it from there. Um, I hope we see other comic edition figures come out especially ones of uh characters that we haven't gotten a toy of or even ones that like haven't gotten a proper toy of so that would be really cool <laughs> but yeah otherwise that is going to be it for me so i hope you enjoyed this review as always i want to say thank you for watching please like comment subscribe join my patreon if you wish and i'll see you all Later.